The first thing I do is take a photo of the subject that I'm going to be drawing. And then I trace the likeness on Bristol board, creating outline areas of darkness and light to be filled in with various densities of dots. As you can see, I've already started this one, but there's still a long way to go. And right now it looks more like a paint my numbers thing. This is the pen that I prefer for accuracy reasons. It's a technical pen made by Kohenor, and it uses refillable ink. This gives me a very consistent sized dot. First, I shake the pen back and forth to get the ink flowing properly. Then I look at my reference drawing, choose an area, and start filling it with dots. When did you get started in stippling? I don't recall how I was introduced to the style, but I remember doing my first picture around the time I was in high school. I picked it back up in college and did one or two more. Then every few years I would do another one until my wife and I got together a few years later and she showed me some of her photography. I thought that they would make great subjects for my stippling style, so I started doing some of her photos. Anything else you'd like people to know about stippling? There are lots of different ways to go about doing stippling. I've seen some people do it in grids, but my style is more like a steady shade of dots. I start lighter than what it's going to end up, and then we'll slowly build it up until it reaches the correct darkness. A lot of times you can't figure out how dark it's going to be until you've got certain other areas done. How long does it normally take you to do one of these pieces? Smaller pictures, 5x7s, like Audrey, take about 10 to 12 hours spread out over a month's time. Whereas a 9x12 picture, like Alan here, takes much longer and gets spread out over 2 to 3 months. <laughs> 